dangers of wine. And he drank of the wine and was drunken, and he was uncovered within his tent. And Noah awoke from his wine and knew what his younger son had done unto him. Genesis chapter 9 verses 21 and 24. And Lot went up out of Zoar and dwelt in the mountain and his two daughters with him, for he feared to dwell in Zoar. And he dwelt in a cave, he and his two daughters. And the firstborn said unto the younger, Our father is old. And there is not a man in the earth to come in unto us after the manner of all the earth. Come, let us make our father drink wine, and we will lie with him, that we may preserve seed of our father. And they made their father drink wine that night. And the firstborn went in and lay with her father. And he perceived not when she lay down, nor when she arose. And it came to pass on the morrow that the firstborn said unto the younger, Behold, I lay yesternight night with my father. Let us make him drink wine this night also, and go thou in and lie with him, that we may preserve seed of our father. And they made their father drink wine that night also. And the younger arose and lay with him, and he perceived not when she lay down, nor when she arose. Genesis chapter 19, verses 30 to 35. And the Lord spake unto Aaron, saying, Do not drink wine, nor strong drink thou, nor thy sons with thee when ye go into the tabernacle of the congregation, lest ye die, it shall be a statute forever throughout your generations, and that ye may put difference between holy and unholy, and between unclean and clean, and that ye may teach the children of Israel all the statutes which the Lord had spoken unto them at the hand of Moses. Leviticus chapter 10, verses 8 to 11. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, When either man or woman shall separate themselves to vow a vow of a Nazarite, to separate themselves unto the Lord, he shall separate himself from wine, strong drink, and shall drink no vinegar of wine, or vinegar of strong drink, neither shall he drink any liquor of grapes, nor eat moist grapes, or dry it. All the days of his separation shall he eat nothing that is made of the vine tree, from the kernels even to the husk. Numbers chapter 6 verses 1 to 4. But he said unto me, Behold, thou shalt conceive and bear a son, and now drink no wine nor strong drink, neither eat any unclean thing, for the child shall be a Nazarite to God from the womb to the day of his death. Judges chapter 13 verse 7. And it came to pass, she continued praying before the Lord, that Eli marked her mouth. Now Hannah, she spake in her heart, only her lips moved, but her voice was not heard. Therefore Eli thought she had been drunken. And Eli said unto her, How long wilt thou be drunken? Put away thy wine from thee. And Hannah answered and said, No, my Lord, I am a woman of a sorrowful spirit. I have drunk neither wine nor strong drink, but have poured out my soul before the Lord. 1 Samuel chapter 1, verses 12 to 15. And Abigail came to Nabal, and behold, he held a feast in his house, like the feast of a king. And Nabal's heart was merry within him, for he was very drunken, wherefore she told him nothing less or more until the morning light. But it came to pass in the morning, when the wine was gone out, out of Nabal, and his wife had told him these things, that his heart died within him. And he became as a stone. And it came to pass about ten days after that the Lord smote Nabal that he died. First Samuel chapter 25 verses 36 to 38. Now Absalom had commanded his servants, saying, Mark ye now when Amnon's heart is merry with wine. And when I say unto you, Smite Amnon, then kill him. Fear not, have not I commanded you? Be courageous and be valiant. Second Samuel chapter 13 verse 28. Thou hast put gladness in my heart, more than in the time that their corn and their wine increased. I will both lay me down in peace and sleep, for thou, Lord, only makest me dwell in safety. Psalm chapter 4, verses 7 to 8. Enter not into the path of the wicked, and go not in the way of evil men. Avoid it, pass not by it, turn from it, and pass away. For they sleep not, except they have done mischief, and their sleep is taken away unless they cause some to fall. 
for they eat the bread of wickedness and drink the wine of violence. Proverbs chapter 4, verses 14 to 17. Wine is a mocker, strong drink is raging, and whosoever is deceived thereby is not wise. Proverbs chapter 20, verse 1. He that loveth pleasure shall be a poor man. He that loveth wine and oil shall not be rich. Proverbs chapter 21, verse 17. Who hath woe? Who hath sorrow? Who hath contentions? Who hath babbling? Who hath wounds without cause? Who hath redness of eyes? They that tarry long at the wine. They that go to seek mixed wine. Look not thou upon the wine when it is red, when it giveth its color in the cup, when it moveth itself aright. At the last biteth like a serpent, and stingeth like an adder. Thine eye shall behold strange women, and thine heart shall utter perverse things. Yea, thou shalt be as he that lieth down in the midst of the sea, or as he that lieth upon the top of a mast. They have stricken me, shalt thou say, and I was not sick. They have bitten me, and I felt it not. When shall I awake? I will seek it yet again. Proverbs chapter 23, verses 29 to 35. It is not for kings, O Limbo, it is not for kings to drink wine, nor for princes strong drink, as they drink and forget the law, and pervert the judgment of any of the afflicted. Give strong drink unto him that is ready to perish, and wine unto those that be of heavy hearts. Let him drink, and forget his poverty, and remember his misery no more. Proverbs chapter 31, verses 4 to 7. Woe unto them that rise up early in the morning, that they may follow strong drink, that continue until night, till wine inflame them, and the harp, and the vial, the tabret, and pipe, and wine are in their feasts. But they regard not the work of the Lord, neither consider the operation of his hands. Isaiah chapter 5, verses 11 to 12. Woe unto them that call evil good, and good evil, that put darkness for light, and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet, and sweet for bitter. Woe unto them that are wise in their own eyes, and prudent in their own sight. Woe unto them that are mighty to drink wine, and men of strength to mingle strong drink, which justify the wicked for reward, and take away the righteousness of the righteous from him. Isaiah chapter 5, verses 20 to 23. Woe to the crown of pride, to the drunkards of Ephraim, whose glorious beauty is a fading flower, which are on the head of the fat valleys of them that are overcome with wine. But they also have erred through wine, and through strong drink are out of the way. The priest and the prophet have erred through strong drink. They are swallowed up of wine. They are out of the way through strong drink. They err in vision. They stumble in judgment. Isaiah chapter 28, verses 1 and 7. The words of Jonadab, the son of Rechab, that he commanded his sons not to drink wine, are performed. For unto this day they drink none, but obey their father's commandment. Notwithstanding I have spoken unto you, rising early and speaking, but ye hearken not unto me. Jeremiah chapter 35 verse 14 Neither shall any priest drink wine when they enter into the inner court. Ezekiel chapter 44 verse 21 But Daniel purposed in his heart that he would not defile himself with a portion of the king's meat, nor with the wine which he drank. Therefore he requested of the prince of the eunuchs that he might not defile himself. Daniel chapter 1 verse 8 For they shall eat and not have enough. They shall commit whoredom and shall not increase, because they have left off to take heed to the Lord. Whoredom and wine and new wine take away the heart. Hosea chapter 4 verses 10 to 11 But the angel said unto him, Fear not, Zacharias, for thy prayer is heard, and thy wife, Elizabeth, shall bear thee a son. And thou shalt call his name John, and thou shalt have joy and gladness, and many shall rejoice at his birth. For he shall be great in the sight of the Lord, and shall drink neither wine nor strong drink. And he shall be filled with the Holy Ghost, even from his mother's womb. And many of the children of Israel shall he turn to the Lord their God. Luke chapter 1 verses 13 to 16. See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time, because the days are evil. Wherefore be ye not unwise, 
but understanding what the will of the Lord is. And be not drunk with wine, wherein is excess, but be filled with the Spirit, speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord, giving thanks always for all things unto God and the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, submitting yourselves one to another in the fear of God. Ephesians chapter 5 verses 15 to 21. This is a true saying, if a man desire the office of a bishop, he desireth a good work. Bishop then must be blameless, the husband of one wife, vigilant, sober, of good behavior, given to hospitality, apt to teach, not given to wine, no striker, not greedy of filthy lucre, but patient, not a brawler, not covetous, one that ruleth well his own house, having his children in subjection with all gravity. For if a man know not how to rule his own house, how shall he take care of the church of God? Not a novice, lest being lifted up with pride, he fall into the condemnation of the devil. Moreover, he must have a good report of them which are without, lest he fall into reproach and the snare of the devil. Likewise must the deacons be grave, not double tongued, not given to much wine, not greedy of filth lucre, holding the mystery of the faith in a pure conscience, and let this also first be proved, then let them use the office of a deacon, being found blameless. Even so must their wives be grave, not slanderers, sober, faithful in all things. Let the deacons be the husbands of one wife, ruling their children in their own house as well. For they that have used the office of a deacon, well, purchase to themselves a good degree, in great boldness in the faith which is in Christ Jesus. 1 Timothy chapter 3 verses 1 to 13. For a bishop must be blameless as the steward of God, not self-willed, not soon angry, not given to wine, no striker, not given to filthy lucre, but a lover of hospitality, a lover of good men, sober, just, holy, temperate, holding fast the faithful word as he hath been taught, that he may be able by sound doctrine both to exhort and to convince the gainsayers. Titus chapter 1 verses 7 to 9. But speak thou the things which become sound doctrine, that the aged man be sober, grave, temperate, sound in faith, in charity, in patience. Aged women likewise, that they be in behavior, as becometh holiness, not false accusers, not given to much wine, teachers of good things, that they may teach the young women to be sober, to love their husbands, to love their children, to be discreet, chaste, keepers at home, good, obedient to their own husbands that the word of God be not blasphemed. The young men likewise exhort to be sober-minded. Titus chapter 2 verses 1 to 6. And he said unto them, Declare unto us your mind concerning the writings. Then began the first, who had spoken of the strength of wine. And he said thus, O ye men, how exceeding strong is wine! It causeth all men to err that drink it. It maketh the mind of the king of the fatherless child to be all one, of the bondman and of the freeman, of the poor man and of the rich. It turneth also every thought into jollity and mirth, so that a man remembereth neither sorrow nor death. And it maketh every heart rich, so that a man remembereth neither king nor governor. And it maketh to speak all things by talents. And when they are in their cups, they forget their love both to friends and brethren. And a little after draw out swords. But when they are from the wine, they remember not what they have done. O ye men! Is not one the strongest that enforceth to do thus? And when he had so spoken, he held his peace. First Esther chapter three verses seventeen to twenty four. Wine is wicked, the king is wicked, women are wicked, all the children of men are wicked, and such are all their wicked works. There is no truth in them, in their unrighteousness also they shall perish. 1st Esther chapter 4 verse 37 Do that to no man which thou hatest. Drink not wine to make thee drunken. Neither let drunkenness go with thee in thy journey. Toby chapter 4 verse 15 Seat not at all with another man's wife, nor sit down with her in thine arms, and spend not thy money with her at the wine, lest thine heart incline unto her, 
and so through thy desire thou fall into destruction. Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse 9. Wine and women will make men of understanding to fall away, and he that cleaveth to harlots will become impudent. Ecclesiastes chapter 19, verse 2. Show not thy valiantness in wine, for wine hath destroyed many. And the furnace proveth the edge by dipping, so doth wine the hearts of the proud by drunkenness. Wine is as good as life to a man, if it be drunk moderately. What life is then to a man is without wine, for it was made to make men glad. Wine measurably drunk, and in season, bringeth gladness of the heart, and cheerfulness of the mind. But wine, drunken with excess, maketh bitterness of the mind, with brawling and quarreling. Drunkenness increaseth the rage of a fool till he offend. It diminisheth strength, and maketh wounds. Rebuke not thy neighbor at the wine, and despise him not in his mirth. Give him no despiteful words, and press not upon him with urging him to drink. Ecclesiastes chapter 31, verses 25 to 31. Wine and music rejoice the heart, but the love of wisdom is above them both. Ecclesiastes chapter 14, verse 20. And Lot and his two daughters remained in the cave, and they made their father drink wine, and they lay with him. For they said there was no man upon earth that could raise up seed from them. For they thought the whole earth was destroyed. Jasher chapter 19, verse 57. They then gave him wine, and he drank and became intoxicated. And they placed before him a beautiful damsel, and he did with her as he liked, for he knew not what he was doing, as he had drunk plentifully of wine. Thus did the children of Moab to Israel in that place, in the plain of Shittim, and the anger of the Lord was kindled against Israel on account of this matter, and he sent a pestilence amongst them, and there died of the Israelites twenty-four thousand men. Jasher chapter 85 verses 60 to 61. When therefore a man's prayer shall be accompanied with sadness, it will not suffer his requests to ascend pure to the altar of God. For as wine when it is mingled with vinegar, has not the sweetness it had before, so sadness being mixed with the Holy Spirit, suffers not a man's prayer to be the same as it would be otherwise. The second book of Hermes chapter 10 verse 22. And wine and strong drink I drank not, and flesh entered not into my mouth. And I ate no pleasant food, but I mourned over my sin, for it was great, such as had not been in Israel. Testament of Eubin chapter 1 verse 10. And when I saw her pouring out wine, owing to the intoxication of wine, I was deceived, and took her, although my father had not counseled it. Therefore, being drunk with wine, I didn't recognize her, and her beauty deceived me through the fashion of her adorning. Testament of Judah, chapter 2, verses 18 and 24. And he adorned her with gold and pearls, and caused her to pour out wine for us at the feast with the beauty of women. And the wine turned aside my eyes, and pleasure blinded my heart. Testament of Judah, chapter 3, verses 6 to 7. I drank not wine to be led astray thereby. Testament of Issachar, chapter 2, verse 7. And now, my children, I say unto you, Be not drunk with wine, for wine turneth the mind away from the truth, and inspires the passion of lust, and leadeth the eyes into error. For the spirit of fornication hath wine as a minister to give pleasure to the mind, for this too also take away the mind of man. For if a man drink wine to drunkenness, it disturbeth the mind with filthy thoughts, leading to fornication, and heateth the body to carnal union. And if the occasion of the lust be present, he worketh the sin, and is not ashamed. Such is the inebriated man, my children. For who, he who is drunken reverenceth no man. For law it made me also to err, so that I was not ashamed of the multitude in the city, in that before the eyes of all I turned aside into Tamar, and I wrought a great sin, and I uncovered the covering of my son's shame. After I had drunk wine, I reverenced not the commandment of God, and I took a woman of Canaan to wife. For much discretion needed the man who drinketh wine, my children, and herein is discretion in drinking wine. A man may drink so long as he preserveth modesty, but if he go beyond this limit, the spirit of deceit attacketh his mind. 
and it maketh a drunkard to talk filthily, and to transgress, and not to be ashamed, but even to glory in his shame, and to account himself honorable. He that committed fornication is not aware when he suffers loss, and is not ashamed when put to dishonor. For even though a man be a king, and commit fornication, he is stripped of his kingship by becoming the slave of fornication, as I myself also suffer. For I gave my staff, that is, the stay of my tribe, and my girdle, that is, my power, and my diadem, that is, the glory of my kingdom. And indeed, I repented of these things. Wine and flesh I eat not until my old age, nor did I behold any joy. And the angel of God showed me that forever do women bear rule over king and beggar alike. And from the king they take away his glory, and from the valiant man his might, and from the beggar even that little which is the stay of his poverty. Observe therefore, my children, the right limit in wine, for there are in it four evil spirits, of lust, of hot desire, of profligacy, of filthy lucre. If ye drink wine in gladness, be ye modest in the fear of God. For if in your gladness the fear of God departeth, then drunkenness ariseth, and shamelessness stealeth in. But if ye would live soberly, do not touch wine at all, lest ye sin in words of outrage, and in fightings, and slanders, and transgressions of the commandments of God, and ye perish before your time. Moreover, wine revealeth the mysteries of God in men, even as I also reveal the commandments of God and the mysteries of Jacob my father to the Canaanitish women but Sua, which God bade me not to reveal. And wine is a cause, both of war and confusion. Testament of Judah chapter 3, verses 10 to 29.